Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Candy out and spending time with the family, the little granddaughter. She is a grandmother. Yes, a bubby. Uh, She loves to call herself bubby. She does. And she's got little Maeve now, a pre-planned vacation with the little one and the family. And uh, yes, if you're uh, listening to the show uh, not as thoroughly as some other people and you're just joining us or you pop in and out, uh, Candy's son and daughter-in-law had their baby September 21st, little Maeve, very nice, uh, everyone happy and healthy, and we wish them all well, Candy, to return Wednesday. Uh, we cannot stop this weather. I wish we could. Uh, we have clouds, breeze, rain. We're not even going to hit 60. I mean, maybe but it looks like 57, 58 degrees or so. A lot of wind, some rain, clouds. Just take the jacket, the hoodie, have something with you uh, when you leave the house if you haven't already. This is going to continue, and into tomorrow looks like a ton of rain tomorrow. So got a few days of this coming up, sorry to say. Uh, could affect the uh, the tennis, you know, big tennis family over here. Got both my daughters now playing. My son taking some uh, lessons here and there, but... Got uh, Abigail in middle school tennis and Leah in uh, in uh, high school. And uh, we had a nice uh, match Friday. We beat uh, Eastport South Manor 4-3 uh, to three in matches. And now today, if weather permits, taking on the very tough, legendary West Hampton uh, tennis team. Always one of the best on the island. So uh, hoping the weather holds up and get to play uh, those matches today. Um, All right, I have a couple of things to talk about here. We will get to some recommendations for uh, movies in just a second. But I got to bring you this story. Uh, You know, last week I was kind of ripping on pumpkin spice. It's just like, I don't like it. I've tasted it, not a fan, and it's just too much. Everything's pumpkin spice. And now it starts in like July and August. Like, stop. You know, you want to start it in September? Okay, okay. Uh, but it's enough. This one just takes the cake. Hefty. Yes, the garbage bags. They started selling pumpkin spice scented trash bags this weekend. They sold out immediately. I just I'm I'm gonna say it again. Hefty sold pumpkin spice scented trash bags because that's what we all like with our garbage. The smell of pumpkin spice and garbage mixed together. They sold out immediately. $6 a box. People were putting them up on eBay for $100 afterwards. Absurd. Hefty called them limited edition. That's what we do to sell things, by the way. Limited edition. Pumpkin spice scented trash bags. Absurd. I'm sorry. If you bought... You know, you're waiting online. If you're one of those people, I mean, I, I'm going to stop short and watch myself because I don't I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings too bad. Um, I, I don't want to you know, get in trouble. Uh, you know, maybe some, somebody's not happy because I'm calling them out. Maybe they were so excited about buying these things. And here's Fathead ripping them. But re- I mean, if you were waiting, like, I don't know when it went on sale. Let's say it was Saturday, right? And you're waiting there online for them to go on sale. And you're, you're, your fingers are ready, like you're buying concert tickets. Your fingers are ready. And you were trying to get those trash bags before they sold out. I, that's a problem. I'm sorry, that is a problem. Hefty, I mean, it's just stop. Hefty selling pumpkin spice trash bags, and they sold out immediately. The world has a problem, okay? We're moving on. Stop it, everyone. Um, some recommendations. For, I, I wish Candy was here. I could go on and on about this. Absurd. That's what you need in your life. Pumpkin spice scented trash bags. And you need to wait online, pay extra money for them. And if, by the way, if you're one of the people who went to eBay and actually bought them for $100 a box, then you know what? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Uh, Here's some movies. My father-in-law and I, of course, it was raining all weekend. We uh, got involved in some things on TV. Um, I have, we watched four movies. And before you get crazy, like, oh my God, fathead. Because this is what I'm going to hear from my family. 
How do you watch four movies over a weekend? Listen, we're up at six in the morning. We're watching a full movie before before 8 a.m. All right. And then it's, uh, you know, we do some things. We went to BJ's, sit down at one in the afternoon. Second movie. I mean, you know, it's two hours. But right now, I we were two movies in by three in the afternoon on Saturday. So it's not not that big a deal. A um, couple of good, one bad. Uh, I'll start with the one you could skip. Uh, Gerard Butler on Netflix, Last Seen Alive. This is a thriller. His wife gets kidnapped. Just don't, you, you don't need to watch it. It's a waste of time. It was okay. Uh, we watched it because of Gerard Butler. You don't need to see it. If it comes up in your recommendations, Last Seen Alive, Gerard Butler, Netflix. You could skip it. Okay, I'm giving you the, uh, the, the pass. Here's a few I think you should watch. They're all Netflix, by the way. Uh, we watched Mark Wahlberg in Father Stew, based on a true story. Really, really good. And I suggest you don't read up on the true story before you watch the movie. Just go in and watch the movie. And dare I say, because I understand what I'm about to say. I know Mark Wahlberg, every movie is the same, right? Action, muscles, action, he doesn't say much. Right? I get it. This is different. I think he should be nominated for his role. I thought he was really good in this film. Father Stu, Netflix, Mark Wahlberg, good one. Um, then we watched uh, an action movie called Lou, where Allison Janney plays the heroine. She She's the, the big star here. Allison Janney from... Uh, she was on a sitcom. Was it Mom or Mother or... you? Right? One of those sitcoms. Um, she, she's been a big star on TV for a while. She was great in this role. We really enjoyed the movie. It's called Lou. Just like that. L-O-U. Uh, I would recommend that one. It was good. Uh, you know, it's not winning any awards, but it was good. You need a couple hours of action. It was uh, it was worthwhile. You're just looking to set your mind free for a, for a few hours, and then we watched one that was just whacked. And I would definitely recommend it. It's called Inheritance, uh, also Netflix. If you're gonna watch it again, don't read the uh, you know the, don't watch the trailer. This is one of those movies you just want to watch without knowing anything. It's called Inheritance, and it's a thriller, and it was great. And it was, it was different. It was unique. Uh, and we watched that on Netflix as well. So there's some things for you to catch up on when you do get the chance. Less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we do have clouds, rain, wind. Maybe we hit 57, 58 today. Going to be another rough day. And then tomorrow looks like a lot of rain again coming in. Let's hit the roads. My country, Netty 6.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.